12-year-old bride-to-be unexpectedly dies just weeks before her wedding. The Provo woman had a rare condition that causes blood clots. Good for Utah's Surrey Chen has the tragic story and a message from her family. Cassie's family is still grieving at the loss of their beloved daughter, but they're speaking out tonight because they don't want what happened to them to happen to anyone else. She was a vibrant, full of life person. She was my youngest child. 20-year-old Cassie died late last month, just shy of her 21st birthday and days before her wedding. She just literally glowed. She was so happy. She was less than a month from the happiest day of her life. We were just doing lots of planning for her bridal shower and her wedding and talking about flowers. That was the subject of their conversation on the phone minutes before she collapsed at her front door and died. Instead of a wedding, the family had to plan for a funeral. It was just such a shock. Cassie had a rare condition, what's called the Factor V Leiden, an inherited gene mutation that predisposes patients to blood clots. What happened to Cassie is extremely rare, but doctors say there could be hundreds of similar genes that put people at risk. We know very little about how they all interact, and while there may be up to as many as 200 out there, presently in 2016, we can only test for eight. We did not have blood clots on our radar screen, which we should have. That's because on both sides of Cassie's family is an extensive history of blood clots. Coincidentally, Cassie's father was in the hospital the day of his daughter's funeral for a blood clot. Dr. Scott Waller at Intermountain Medical Center is an expert in the field and is helping to treat Cassie's father. When a patient has a family history of blood clots, they personally are at an increased risk of getting a blood clot themselves. Doctors say family history of blood clots is a major red flag, and so is smoking and taking birth control pills. Cassie was just put on estrogen hormone therapy, another risk factor. If even one person is saved from having an experience like this, I would be so happy that, you know, I got this message out. And we really believe that she's probably going to be our guardian angel. Perhaps, her mother says, this was her purpose on earth, to spare others of the same fate because we know that when it's our turn to go, we're going to be able to, you know, be greeted by our beautiful Cassie. And, and that, that's comforting to me to know that she's there waiting for us whenever it's our turn. The family and doctors say if there is a history of blood clots, to not only talk to your doctor, but talk to your family, an extended family, so they can have a conversation with their doctor. Saray Chin, good for Utah. Well, that inherited gene mutation is rare, affecting just 5% of the population, mostly Caucasian people. Europeans and Scandinavians can be as high as 15%, but only a small percentage of those predisposed will actually get blood clots.